you know what it takes to be number one. At State Farm, so do we. That was really a long journey uh, ending up in Virginia. Penn was a great experience, um, something that uh, was very valuable in my life. I played two years under uh, a well-renowned coach, Fran Dunphy. I played in the Palestra. I was in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, I got some great experience under my belt basketball-wise. Played some big games with Ivy League champs my sophomore year. I uh, played in the tournament there. And uh, just the uh, academics were, I mean, second to none, just like Virginia. I ended up taking a year off because I went to Cincinnati and Coach Bob Huggins was there. And uh, he chose to leave the school. I was work working out there the whole summer and then I ended up leaving and coming uh, coming back in August, I had nowhere to go, it was too late. So I ended up uh, going back to Rochester, New York and uh, taking the year off there and uh, enrolling at a uh, community college so I could take classes and be eligible for the next year. It was tough taking that year off. It was a big adjustment. I mean, I'm at an Ivy League school. Next thing you know, I'm at a community college in Rochester. All my friends are gone. Uh, I'm watching college games on TV. I'm not playing basketball that year. That was tough. So I was really, it was really a period of, uh, of anxiousness and Really, I was, I was hungry to play again, and I just uh, wanted the year to go by fast and really get enrolled at a new school. I ended up uh, contacting uh, Coach Lanier, who was here last year. I had a relationship with him when he was at Siena College. And uh, my, my senior year in high school, he recruited me pretty heavily. So he called me up and he said, hey, would you be interested in coming on a visit to Virginia? And I, I jumped at the uh, opportunity because, I, I mean, Virginia's a great place. And I came down here, fell in love with it and uh, talked to Coach Lado, uh, Coach Lanier, and really felt like it would be a great fit for me. I had a chance to meet him two years ago uh, as a young junior or third year. He came in from an uh, Ivy League school. Uh, he was a shy young man that I saw in uh, one of the practices, and I was like, you know, introduce myself. And, and after that, I saw a major improvement often on the court. When I first got here, an instant bond with uh, 15 guys on the team. Um, I mean, even Lars came up to me at first practice and really made me feel comfortable, which uh, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, just the bonds, the, the family environment on the team is just unbelievable. You know, he came in there a couple of summers ago, and I was here all summer, and we became friends because he loved in the dorms and I did in summer school, and because by working out and going to classes together, and we've been pretty good friends since then. I think I, yeah, I'm the oldest guy on the team. I think AD's second, 20s, 23s, as well as I am. So I'm definitely, I think a, a lot of guys look up to that and know I have experience, and hopefully I can just uh, be a good leader and really uh, guys need to come to me for anything, they can rely on me. He's old and mature, you know. I've been being in college for quite a few years now. It's been a big journey for him. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect coming to Virginia um, in terms of playing time and uh, those kind of opportunities, but I mean, swore hard in practice and ended up starting in the Arizona game. That was probably the number one experience I've had here so far, beating Arizona at the opening of JP, JPJ Arena. Um, that was just unbelievable. Joseph, a little give and go inside. Pat Mello, the jam, and a good-looking feed. Before the game, I just really go over the things I do well and try to play within myself, uh, rebound, run the court play a solid post defense, um, go after offensive rebounds, and really just hustle, make hustle plays, and really, I'm trying to be, I guess try to be an energy guy is the main thing. It's been an incredible journey. Um, if you had told me I was going to go through all these obstacles and opportunities uh, coming out of high school, I never would have believed it. But it's just, we're in a really good place right now, and really happy at the university.